I'm on Bowen Island, a 20 minute ferry ride from Vancouver. And while I'm here on the West Coast, <laughs> I wanted to talk about our oceans and the waters that Canadians rely on. He adds an H to water. Not too far from here is the Port of Vancouver, which handles a large amount of Canada's trade outside a, of a North large. America. Yeah. Travel a few minutes from there, and you'll find the iconic Vancouver Seawall, the largest uninterrupted waterfront path in the world. Mm. That's not the only record we hold. Canada is home to the largest coastline in the world, mm. stretching from here in the lower mainland to up north and out east. Mm -hmm. Our oceans are part of who we are. So when we created the Oceans Protection Plan in 2016, we did it to protect these waters. and what Waters? Imagine they had people write this and they came up with our oceans are part of who we are. The waters. He's putting an H in water. I might have to drop the whole H stick. Okay, let's just keep going. Millions of Canadians and Indigenous communities who are connected to them. But what is the ocean's protection? That was a pervy, psychotic pause. Too long. Too These long. We're connected to them. But what is the ocean's protection plan doing to make that happen? To start. We're protecting habitats for precious but vulnerable species like killer whales right off this hook coast. We're making shipping safer, modernizing and expanding our Coast Guard's capacity, boosting emergency towing, improving radar coverage, and so much more. To prevent marine oh, there, incidents... There, there's this plane. There's this plane. People, I don't think I can go on much longer with this. This is the same Trudeau um, who literally just flew his private jet to Costa Rica for a two week vacation uh, while people in Canada you know, are, are, are just stuck waiting endlessly at airports, being randomly subjected to spot COVID testing. I think from what I understand, they've re-implemented this policy. Uh, if they're unvaccinated, minimum 14 day quarantine upon returning to their country, or if you're a foreigner, going to Canada. Look, look at these lineups. Justin Trudeau is gallivanting across the world. Come up here, please! While he flies his private jet to Costa Rica, no mask. I... Doesn't have to experience anything. Ah, oh, people. Uh, if it weren't for double standards, they'd have no standards at all. Flying around private jets. But he has to, don't you see? Because uh, it's the way to get the message out. He's the celebrity promoting the message of the good, even if the way in which he promotes it is exactly counterproductive uh, according to that which he's promoting as the measures for the good. He deserves it. He's entitled to vacation time. He's entitled to whisk out of the country on a private jet while telling everyone to reduce their carbon footprint. But he needs to because he doesn't have a choice. He's a special individual and there are special rules for the king flying off to the Bowen Islands in British Columbia to lecture us on the importance of the environment by doing exactly that which he's telling everyone else in the world not to do, crippling us, crippling our economy, uh, indebting in a, a generation, if not more. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, but but oh, I I um, I also didn't show the the classic response. I, I you know he ha he had a nice tan. It looks like the Costa Rican sun was good uh, to him, except um, oh man, he has indeed been a few shades darker 